can we convert PNG image into a proper vector file in Pixelmator Pro? The good news is there are proper vector tools included in this program. So there is a pen tool. Take a look. We can draw any custom shape we really need. It's all a path in vectors, but there's no auto trace tool. So if you want to trace this, you will need to trace this manually using those built in tools like a pen tool or use the third party software first, trace it and then put it back into the Pixelmator Pro for the final changes. So let's try both methods. So method number one will be to zoom in a bit, simply grab yourself a pen tool and try to redraw this image. That's what we call trace. Many people confuse trace with auto trace, but that's the definition of tracing. So you click and redraw the whole thing. This can be actually a good idea for logos and icons when you want all of the details and all of the original shapes. You don't want this to be affected by any auto trace process. Okay, so this is totally doable. You can retrace each shape in the illustration. You can give it a proper color using the color picker tool and you can kind of redraw the whole thing using vector tools. We call this manual tracing. How about auto trace? Auto trace is not built in, so we need to refer to some third party apps. If you search for auto trace in Google, you will see 20 different websites offering that and most of them are paid and they are really sneaky because they will allow you to upload your own image and they will tr show you the result of tracing. They will even allow you to make some tweaks. And in the very last moment, when you click download, they will pop up with the price or subscription and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you the one that I know is still free. And that's a photo P. It's not any fancy auto trace with AI and stuff like that, but it's the one that is still free. You don't need to have any account subscription for it. So again, I would just simply drag and drop the same image here. It will open in photo P when we have option to auto trace. Head to image and you will see vectorized bitmap. Click on that. And from here you will see the original one on one side and the vectorized version on another side. We can decide how many colors and what style you're going to use. Then click OK if you are happy with your settings. And now if you inspect your layers, you may notice there's a path 24, path 23. So all of those little details from these illustrations are converted to different paths, different vector shapes, really. Take a look. I can switch them on and off. I can recolor them. I can scale them up and down without losing quality. All right. Let's save this all as SVG and put back into Pixelmator Pro to check it out. Take a look, there's also path zero for the backdrop. I can delete this one. All right, I need to click file, export as, and we are working with curves now. So I will save it as SVG, scalable vector graphics. And here it is, as you may notice in the layer section, this is a group with 24 layers. So that's perfect. I can literally hide this image below the raster one. I will just keep it here just in case. And this is my vector version. Take a look. I see all of the paths. I can change the color of those vector shapes. They are all vectors. So take a look. We got the color of it. In here, in the second option on the tool panel style, you can see the color of it and you can modify the color. I can change this pink heart into, let's say, uh, yellow and done. So the vector images are really quick to edit and I can also easily delete the layers I don't need. So let's say I don't need the backdrop behind the cat, delete this one. All right, how about this outline color? It's like dark blue. I want this to be a perfect black we can make this change as well. If you want more detailed changes, I suggest to zoom in and then you just need to double tap. So if you double tap on this hard, you will see those nodes. You can move those nodes freely. You can delete unnecessary nodes as well. 
and you can make all of the changes here. All right, so as you can see, Pixelmator Pro supports vector graphics. We can modify it, we can draw it from scratches in Pen Tool, but there's no auto trace. For that, you will need to use third party software. Today, I show you the example of Photopy, but you can use any other that you are familiar with or maybe you paid for already. So that's what it is. No auto trace in Pixelmator Pro, but there are some workarounds. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.